Okay, so let's get right into it. The way that you cleanse your spirit is by, you have to command all the powers of the enemy. You have to command every demon. You have to command these things to get off of you, to go away, to to uh, disperse, okay? Um, the Lord Jesus Christ taught me, the Holy Spirit taught me how to command demons pretty much basically to just kill themselves, to disperse. So this is the prayer. It's based on Luke chapter 10, verse 19. It says, Behold, the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, has given me authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm me in the name of jesus christ i bind you satan i bind the powers i bind the principalities i bind the rulers of the darkness of this age i bind spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. I bind every weapon that is formed against me. I bind every demon. I bind every unclean spirit. I bind all of the power of the enemy. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command all these things that I have bound to go asunder. And then you can go even further with it. You can say, I bind all these things that are at work in my life. I bind all these things that are at work in my children's lives. I bind all these things that are assigned to me. Because demons can be, de demons a lot of times are assigned to us individually. You can say, I bind all these things that are assigned to any of my children. I bind all these things that are in me because most of us are walking around with demons in us and we don't even realize it. I bind all these things that are in any of my children. The devil fights dirty. He will get into your children. He will get into your family members. He will get into your spouse and use them against you to tear you down, wear you down emotionally and defeat you, tear your family up, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can say, I bind all these things that are in this house. You know, if you want to bless your house. You say that prayer, behold, the only begotten son of God, Jesus Christ has given me authority and, you know, over all of the powers and all that. And then you say, um, I bind all the powers, I bind all the principalities, I bind, go through all that. And then you say, I bind all these things that are in this house. And you can go through your home and anoint, you know, have some blessed oil that you bless, ask Father God to bless that oil. And then you go all throughout your home and you just anoint, anoint your doors, all your doors, all your windows, all the entries and exits. That's how I do it. Um, if you've gotten something from a thrift store or, you know, a gift from somebody or something, you think it might be something uh, evil, a spirit or something connected to it, anoint that thing, anoint your couch, anoint your bed, anoint, you know, whatever. And you say that you bind all these powers of the enemy and that after you finish, when you have bound everything, because the Bible, the word of God says that what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. So that is what you are doing. You are in on earth in the natural. You are binding these heavenly things, these heavenly beings, these beings that are in the heavenly dimension that are operating in our lives. You're binding these things. And so it's not just good enough to bind them though, because that just binds them. It you know might put some shackles on them. Now, after you bind everything, then you say, I command all these things that I have bound 
to go asunder. And if you look that word up, that is a word that God told me, taught me um, when I asked him, where do I tell these demons to go, God? Because uh, he was teaching me about casting out demons. And he told me that you have to command a demon. You can't just say, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Christ compelled you or the blood of Jesus is against you or in the name of Jesus. You're just shouting the name of Jesus at the thing. You're not telling it. You have to command a demon. That thing is not going to back up just because you say Jesus. It's only going to leave. It's only going to disperse because you command it. God has given man dominion over the earth and over every creeping thing. Okay, so being a Christian and not knowing your authority, not not knowing who you are as a child of God and not knowing your rights as a citizen of heaven because the Lord Jesus said don't rejoice that the devils uh, that that you have power over the devils or that the devils are subject to you he said rejoice that your name is written in heaven your name is written in heaven because you are a child of God, because you are a citizen of heaven. You are registered in heaven and you have rights. You have the right to live this life, not under the bondage of the enemy. When the Lord Jesus sacrificed himself and he spent three days in hell, he got the keys to death and hell. So what do you do with keys? You unlock. You unlock the chains that are binding you. You unlock the, ca the, the prison doors. You unlock. You get yourself free from this bondage. God gave us the keys. And the, it's with this. You use this. You use this mouth and you bind those demonic powers that are troubling you. I don't know about y'all, but all this stuff about P. Diddy, you know, if you work in like forensics and or homicide or if you're a detective if you're a police officer that deals with like domestic violence and and you see like rapes and things like that and then god help you if you have to watch the evidence and you have to hear the sexual assault while it's happening and you have to see the sexual assault while it's happening i mean and and, and you've seen things that you just want to take your eyeballs out and wash them you know you wish you could just wash your it, it just makes you feel dirty well it is spiritually it is dirty because what you're watching is somebody that is fully possessed by a lustful spirit somebody that is fully possessed by demons raping taking someone's innocence okay you're watching a demon in action you're hearing the screams of violence and things like that and like just like faith comes by hearing it's a gate into your soul your eyes are a window into your soul these are how things get in us and we can either let faith and god into us if we focus our attention on that or the enemy can use those gates and get into us and it makes impressions on our spirit and it contaminates your spirit and then you'll be wondering why you keep thinking about that rape scene or why you keep hearing that those awful sounds, you know, something that you never wanted to hear and you wish you could unsee it. And now you can't. Well, that demon spirit that that um, that person was operating in when they were doing that 
It's trying to get into you now. It's trying to get a hold of you now. It's trying to to um to find a new host. It's it's sending other spirits like itself and trying to get a stronghold in you. And then God forbid if you start feeling like, you know, sexual urges and things like that and and or if you start playing into it and like watching pornography, like rape type of pornography and all that kind of stuff. Um, watching pornography, it opens your spirit up to demons. And then, you know, when you find yourself, oh, I'm addicted to this. I'm addicted to that. I'm addicted to this. That means that, that you have participated in that thing so much that the enemy has been allowed to build up a stronghold in you now it has something in you that if it provides the temptation outside of you then it can also pull you from within and so you're more you're more prone to fail because not only do you have the outside interference but you also have that inner draw that's pulling you to it as well right so it's imperative to cleanse your spirit and cleanse your spirit often. I was praying and the Holy Spirit um, told me that the movie, The Matrix, go back and watch it. He didn't say that to me because I, I watched it. But what he said to me was the movie, The Matrix is not a futuristic sci-fi um that's 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 not the story that the holy spirit is, is is telling through that story the holy spirit told me that the way that all those people were in those pods in the fields and the agents had access could jump into any of those people that were still plugged in at any time the Holy Spirit told me that that's how many of mankind have demons in us and we don't even know it. And the whole, the movie, The Matrix, it's really showing us like in natural terms, how these demons operate, the tactics of the enemy. And then you you see how Agent Smith became a principality and he was able to take over other demons and draft them into his cause. They Those other demons, the other agents, they had assignments of their own. But if he found that he had a, in, in, an opportune time to attack neo or somebody else and he didn't have enough demons around then he or agents if he didn't have enough people he had access to around already that he'd already taken over he could just take over any other agent that was around so he he a principality is a is a demonic force that can draft any demon around into its cause and so it, the Holy Spirit was telling me that the matrix is showing how desperate a plight humanity is in right now spiritually. And whether you want to believe it or not, just look at the news. Look at the atrocities that are happening. Look at the things that we're doing to each other. Here in the United States, it's become an often thing for people to go into schools and shoot babies in the face. How evil, how savage is that?
people think <laughs> date rape is consensual sex. Guys, you know, on a regular think it's okay to get a woman drunk and then take advantage of her and then blame the victim. Knowing full well, she didn't want you. She wasn't going to give it up to you. You tricked her into drinking all this alcohol or, you know, you just sat there and waited until she was vulnerable and then you took advantage of her. How evil is that? All kinds of things are happening all around us. And it's just evil. Because so many demons have, or so, yeah, so many demons have access to so many people. It is imperative to learn how to set ourselves free from every demonic power. And so, um, all right, I don't, I don't want to, um, make this too terribly long. Um, of course I could teach for a long time on this stuff. Um, but I, on this subject matter, God told me to make a list of everything that I've done that has given me victory over the enemy and put that list together and do those things every day, once a day for 30 days and see how he blesses my life, right? So, and I called it God's 30 day life changing challenge. And what I realized through doing it was, oh, this is putting on the whole armor of God. Doing each of these steps every day, I'm getting filled with the Holy Spirit every day. And I'm putting on Jesus every day. I'm putting on the whole armor of God. A lot of times people go to church and the pastor, you know, they'll preach on that scripture, put on the whole armor of God. Um, and, but they don't see, they don't know that a lot of these preachers don't even know how to put on the whole armor of God themselves. A lot of these preachers, a lot of them full of demons. But anyway, um, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I Yes, I do believe you should go to church, but I believe that you should have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And you should personally read the scriptures for yourself so that when you go to church and somebody is not full of the Holy Spirit, but they're in that pulpit, you can tell when somebody is is um, not anointed at all. You can tell when somebody doesn't know the word of God or they're telling or they're they're taking the word of God out of context and they're putting their spin on it, you can tell. Why? Because you're studying to show yourself approved. You're spending time with the Holy Spirit enough on your own so that the Holy Spirit, you'll, you'll just, you'll get a feeling, you'll get a knowing. Sometimes he'll speak to you, you know, but you will know when someone is not anointed and they're not appointed and there is no God leading this church, but it's a devil in the pulpit. You you need to be able to tell the difference. There's people that go to church for 20, 30, 40 years and they full of demons. Don't have any self-control. Mean as hell. Nasty. Adulterous. Thieves. All kinds of stuff, but be in church every Sunday. You need to be able to recognize when somebody is full of God or full of shit. I said it. If you don't like it, go to another channel. Anyway, um, so the God's 
30 day life changing challenge. I put the list together and I put it in my Patreon. It's one dollar and eleven cents. Guys, one 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 number for manifestation. Um I put it's a list of eight things. It's they're not hard. It's, you know, like one of them is read one scripture a day. Um you know, sing one song of praise to God a day. Just just to get you used to doing these spiritual things that they seem simple, but they're really powerful. It's just like the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to the bringing down of strongholds. It's not your your security right now should not be in you know it's not a gun that's going to save you from a demon not if that demon is in your child not if that demon is in you don't kill yourself kill the demon anyway i'll put the um the um you know link to my patreon and the thing and the list of eight things i also give you a breakdown of um the scriptures that god led me to um and why these things are effective um in warfare spiritual warfare and all that kind of stuff um yeah, I think that's everything. I'm um 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 in it up. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But I hope that you find this information valuable. I hope you study it out so you can understand what it is that you're saying and what it is that you're doing, you know. And if you do it, you're gonna notice a difference. You are going to notice a difference, you know. And you or whoever you're 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 casting it, you know, demons out of, if you're getting them out your home or or whatever, you'll notice a difference in the atmosphere. You'll notice a difference. You will. All right. Y'all be blessed. I love you. Y'all are my tribe. <laughs> Hi, tribe. Hi. <laughs> I wish you well. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and may he be gracious to you and give you his peace. <laughs>